before continuing with deep introduction of various B vitamins and understanding how important they are for human body in various ways, here is a list of all 8 B vitamins along with a short introduction. Vitamin B1 Scientific name of vitamin B1 is thiamine. Vitamin B1 is a coenzyme. Coenzyme can be found in catabolism of sugars and various amino acids as well. Vitamin B2 Vitamin B2 is known as riboflavin as well. Vitamin B2 acts as precursor for two cofactors. These cofactors handled by vitamin B2 are known as FAD and FMN. These cofactors, FAD and FMN, play an important role in reaction processes of flavor protein enzyme. These are also important for activation of other vitamins, other than B vitamins. Vitamin B3 In scientific research, vitamin B3 is often referred as niacin or nicotinic acid. It is a well-known precursor for two coenzymes. These coenzymes are NAD and NADP. NAD and NADP are included in many metabolic processes that take place in various parts of the cell. Vitamin B5 Vitamin B5 is known as pantothenic acid. It acts as precursor for coenzyme A. Coenzyme A is included in process of metabolizing many molecules, which is a proof of vitamin B5 being involved in many metabolizing processes of molecules. Vitamin B6 Vitamin B6 is known by multiple names in scientific researches. These names are paradoxal and paradoxamin. However, they are all the same. They are important in many metabolism reactions. They act as coenzyme in many of these reactions. Vitamin B7 In scientific researches, these vitamin B7s are known as biotins. Vitamin B7 is a coenzyme that handles carboxylase enzymes. These carboxylase enzymes are required by fatty acids and gluconeogenesis in their respective synthesis, synthesis of fatty acids and synthesis of gluconeogenesis. Vitamin B9 Vitamin B9 is known as folic acid. This is the only B vitamin, among others, that acts as both precursor and cofactor. As a precursor, it is involved in the creation, repair and methylate process of DNA. On the other hand, it gets involved as cofactor in various reactions. It is involved in following reactions. Aiding rapid cell division. Aiding rapid cell growth. Infancy process of cell. Pregnancy of cell. Vitamin B12 Vitamin B12 is commonly referred as cobalamins. In the term of vitamin supplements, vitamin B12 is known as chiancobalamin and methylcobalamin also. It is a coenzyme. This vitamin is involved in almost every kind of cell metabolism included in human body, which makes it a very important one. It greatly affects DNA synthesis and DNA regulation. It is more or less involved in fatty acid metabolism and amino acid metabolism. These vitamins are given numbers according to the concept of B vitamin numbering scheme. Later on, it was discovered that these vitamins are not essential for life and are not manufactured by the human body. Due to these facts, B vitamins fail to meet the two qualifiers for a vitamin. These qualifiers are essential for every vitamin. That is the main reason for removing 4, 8, 10 and 11 numbers from these vitamins list. They are no longer considered as B vitamins anymore. You will be introduced to detailed information about these B vitamins, how they affect our body both positively and negatively, various sources of these B vitamins, etc. Molecular Functions of B Vitamins As described before, each B vitamin is unique according to their chemical characteristics and behavior. This makes them act and involve in separate or different processes and reactions. In this chapter, involvement and functionality in various processes and reactions of all eight B vitamins are described. It will help you to learn which element is related with what body parts. Here is the detailed description. Vitamin B1 
Our body generates chemical energy from carbohydrates consumed by us through various mediums. Vitamin B1 plays an important role in this process. It helps our body handle its nerve functionality. Vitamin B1 is also involved in the production process of DNAs and RNAs. When vitamin B1 is in its active form, it acts as a coenzyme. Its active coenzyme form is known as thiamine pyrophosphate, TPP. Thiamine pyrophosphate plays an important role in the conversion process of pyruvate. In such conversion process of pyruvate, pyruvate is converted to acetyl coenzyme A in metabolism of various human organs. Acetyl coenzyme is denoted as COA. Vitamin B2 Riboflavonoase Vitamin B2 is responsible for producing energy for many organic processes and reactions in human body. It helps our body to produce energy for electron transport chain. It is also responsible to maintain our critic acid cycle by generating energy. It is also involved in the catabolism of fatty acids. Catabolism process of fatty acids is known as beta oxidation. Vitamin B3 as described above, vitamin B3, that is known as niacin, includes two substructures within it, main body or main structure. These two structures are as following. Nicotinic acid, nicotinamide. Niacin has two coenzyme forms, NAD and NADP. Both NAD and NADP play an important role in the process of energy transfer reactions for the processes such as glucose metabolism, fat metabolism and metabolism of alcohol. Even if these both structures are included in the same process, they act differently and handle different elements according to their unique chemical behavior and characteristics. During metabolic reactions that include NAD, hydrogen and their electrons are carried by NAD. Moreover, it also involves in the process between the pathway of critic acid cycle and electron transport chain. NADP involves as a coenzyme in many reactions and organic processes such as lipid synthesis and synthesis of nucleic acid. Vitamin B5 Vitamin B5, or say, pantothenic acid, comes in the play in the reactions of fatty acid oxidation and carbohydrates oxidation processes. Here, it should be noticed that coenzyme A can be easily synthesized by pantothenic acid. Coenzyme A is involved in the synthesis of following reactions. Synthesis of amino acids, synthesis of fatty acids, synthesis of ketones, synthesis of cholesterol, Synthesis of phospholipids, synthesis of steroids, hormone synthesis, neurotransmitter synthesis, synthesis of acetylcholine, synthesis of antibodies. Vitamin B6 The active form of vitamin B6 is known as pyridoxal 5 phosphate that is denoted with PLP, a short form. It serves as cofactor in many reactions. It mainly serves as cofactor to those reactions that contain enzyme in them. It takes part in any reaction in its active form only. It is involved in amino acid metabolisms that have biosynthesis of neurotransmitters involved in the process. Inactive form of any kind of vitamin B6 is merely seen taking part in any chemical or organic reactions. In any process it takes part in, vitamin B6 is referred as pyridoxine or pyridoxal. Vitamin B7 In chemical or organic processes, vitamin B7 is referred as biotin. Biotin has strong root connections with metabolizing since it is involved in multiple metabolizing processes such as metabolism of lipids, metabolism of proteins and metabolism of carbohydrates. Vitamin B, or say biotin, acts as critical coenzyme for following carboxylase. Acetyl-CoA carboxylase, pyruvate-CoA carboxylase, methicrotonal-CoA carboxylase, propionyl-CoA carboxylase. Acetyl-CoA carboxylase involves itself in acetate synthesis and fatty acid synthesis. Pyruvate-CoA carboxylase is involved in the process of gluconeogenesis. 
Methylcrotonyl COA carboxylase is responsible for metabolizing process of leucine. Propionyl COA carboxylase plays a major role in metabolizing energy, amino acids and metabolizing cholesterol. Vitamin B7 participates in processes and reactions in both activated and non-activated form. That makes it the most active form of B vitamins. Vitamin B9 Vitamin B9 is involved in many organic and chemical processes and reactions of human body as folic acid. In these processes, folic acid is involved in the form of tetrahydrophallate, which acts as coenzyme. Tetrahydrophallate is denoted with THF. It gets itself involved in metabolism of nucleic acids and amino acids. In such metabolizing processes, it is responsible for transferring single carbon units. THF is also involved in pyramiding nucleotide synthesis. It means that it is essential for the process of cell division. It is even more important in the states such as pregnancy and infancy. It is because during these states of pregnancy and infancy, cells grow rapidly than normal rate of growth. Folic acid also helps in a process called erythropoiesis, which is the process of producing red blood cells. Vitamin B12 Vitamin B12 is included in the cellular metabolizing process such as carbohydrates, proteins and lipids. It is an essential element in bone marrow. Bone marrow is responsible for producing blood cells, which indirectly makes vitamin B12 important in the production of blood cells. It is also essential for nerve sheaths and protein activations. It also acts as coenzyme in many processes. It acts intermediary in the metabolizing process of methionine synthase reaction. Methylcobalamin is also involved in the very same process. Methymalonyl is also involved in the very same process in mutase reaction. Vitamin B is also involved with adenosylcobalamin. In this chapter, you have been introduced with the basic functionality of each B vitamin member in various chemical and organ circumstances, processes and reactions. Until now, you may have very well realized that how important and essential B vitamins are for human body. In subsequent chapters, you will learn about various deficiencies and side effects of various B vitamins. Deficiencies in B vitamins General meaning of vitamin deficiency is that the effects our body suffers if we lack of some specific vitamin. Several vitamin deficiency diseases are likely to be faced if the B vitamin level goes down that sufficient one. Other than these deficiencies, lack of B vitamins may also result in symptoms that are not included or are not a part of the main deficiencies. These symptoms can be taken as the indication that eventually one is much likely to face the main deficiency. Here are the descriptive details related to each member of the set of B vitamins. Vitamin B1 Lack of B1 may cause you beriberi. However, there will be many symptoms before the actual effect begun to take place. Such symptoms include weight loss, emotional unbalance or mood swings. One may also suffer from Wernick's encephalopathy. It is simple, the impaired sensory of perception. Limbs are much likely to be weak and throw a lot of pain to you. You may suffer non-regular heartbeats now and then. One affected with lack of B1 may also suffer from edema. Edema is the swelling of bodily tissues which may cause one a lot of pain and eventually increasing weakness. In advances cases, heart failure and death are much likely possible, only if pre-symptoms are ignored at a great level. In some rare cases, one may even suffer Karsakoff syndrome. Dementia holds the characteristics of amnesia. Compensatory confabulation is possible too. Vitamin B2 Deficiency related to vitamin B2 may cause one to suffer from aboflavinosis. There are various noticeable symptoms too. Kalosis will catch your attention before anything. It simply means cracked lips. One affected by this deficiency may feel that he or she eventually became more sensitive for sunlight. Even light sunlight will simply affect one as if it were too bright. Angular chalitis may also occur. However, it is greatly unnoticeable. 
Glossitis is another great symptom. It will cause your tongue to lose taste as low or great level. It can also cause you to feel bad taste in everything. This is not a serious issue and can be cured easily but these will be the worst hours you are ever likely to experience. This deficiency greatly affects organs related to our mouth. You may feel your mouth dry often. Hyperemia and edema of pharyngeal or oral mucosa are also noticeable symptoms. Vitamin B3 Deficiency related with B3 can cause multiple results such as tryptophan and pellagra. Symptoms can be observed as both mental and physical changes, most of them negative. Aggression is the biggest and the worst symptom of vitamin B3 deficiency. One that is affected by such symptom may be affected emotionally even with smaller things. He will be angry quickly and sad too. Every change in his emotional state will be quick as hell. He may also suffer through dermatitis, insomnia, weakness, mental confusion and diarrhea. If symptoms manage to stay unnoticed, advanced state will eventually result as death because of dementia. Vitamin B5 Deficiency caused by lack of vitamin B5 is quite uncommon. It will cause one acne and parathesia. They are not that serious and can be aided easily without requiring too much medical attention. Vitamin B6 Effects of deficiency related to vitamin B6 are as small as they were for B5. It can cause much seborrheic dermatitis such as eruptions, pink eye and epilepsy. These maladies are easily cured with a little bit of medical attention. Vitamin B7 Deficiency caused due to vitamin B7 does not throw any major symptoms in adults. However, it should be noticed that they are responsible for causing impaired growth and neurological disorders in infants. One needs to be very careful about it since there are no indications or symptoms that will help you to notice if someone is affected by this particular deficiency or not. It can cause multiple carboxylase deficiency. It is more complex than its name is. It is an inborn and possible permanent error of metabolism. If not cured within time, it can cause biotin deficiency. This effect is highly unnoticeable because dietary biotin intake tends to be normal even when someone is being affected by such deficiency. Vitamin B9 Such deficiency may cause one macrocytic anemia. It can also cause multiple levels of homocysteine. If a pregnant woman is affected by such deficiency, it can lead to permanent birth defects in upcoming child. This makes it very serious or important for pregnant women to maintain their diet to avoid such deficiency. The effects that a child were born with may even be incurable since they will be birth effects. Vitamin B12 Deficiency caused by vitamin B12 lead to multiple serious issues. It can cause one macrocytic anemia, elevated acid effects, homocysteine. Another serious effect of such deficiency is peripheral neuropathy that causes temporary or permanent organs failure. Memory loss and other related deficits are also possible. Memory loss will begin as shorter memory lack and eventually lead to greater stages. These symptoms are rarely encountered in younger people. Elders have greater chance of failing in such situation. These symptoms are curable at some stage. However, they are often ignored since most people consider them as a sign of old age. These effects will be felt as a result of pernicious anemia. Symptoms of mania and psychosis can also be felt. In rare and extreme too, cases, effects of paralysis would be faced. Side effects of B vitamins Taking large doses of B vitamins can cause side effects too. Since B vitamins are water-soluble, B vitamins that are eliminated in urine can produce transient side effects if consumed too much of them. Feeling tired, restlessness, nausea and insomnia are some of the most common side effects noticed on overdone of B vitamins. These side effects come because of either dietary supplements or not foodstuffs. It is not necessary that overconsumption is the only reason for overleveling these elements. Sometimes internal changes caused by other deficiencies may also be a reason for increasing level of these B vitamins. 
In previous subsequent chapters, you were introduced to various functions of B vitamins and number of deficiencies caused due to lack of these very same B vitamins. In this chapter, you will learn about various side effects that are caused by over-increased level of particular B vitamin. Here is the complete list of all eight B vitamins along with the side effects they cause to human body. Vitamin B1 Side effects caused by vitamin B1 can vary from no known toxicity to oral intake. One can suffer anaphylaxis if he was given higher dose of thiamine, vitamin B1, injections into vein or muscles. Such side effects can only cause if doses of thiamine were larger than the quantity that an average human body can absorb according to its oral intake. This capability may vary from one person to another. It means that possibility of suffering from these side effects is much likely to be different for every next person. Some may feel it too serious and major. On the other hand, some will feel it as any normal or average deficiency. Vitamin B2 There is no known toxicity from oral intake of any, neither limited human body nor animal studies. There is only one real evidence is available for such side effects. It is associated with riboflavin. It is found in studies of vitro. A vitro study shows that production of reactive oxygen species being exposed when riboflavin or say vitamins B2s reaches to intense visible and UV light level. It will cause you a lot of pain and restlessness. You will feel weak even for a normal walk. Vitamin B3 3000 mg or day for nicotinamide and 1500 mg or day for nicotinic acids are considered intense level for vitamin B3 related to an average human body. Such intense level can cause nausea and vomiting. It also throws some symptoms related to liver toxicity. These symptoms can reach to intense level if they are ignored as food poisoning or normal acidity. One affected by these symptoms may also face glucose intolerance. It will eventually lead you to ocular effects. These ocular effects are found to be reversible in some cases and non-reversible in other. If vitamin B was overdue in the form of nicotinic acid, it may result as vasodilatory effects. These effects are well known as flushing. These effects include various deficiencies such as redness of the skin. Such redness, if ignored, will eventually lead one to major itching problems. Such itching is curable but require a lot of time to be completely cured. In some cases, it is found that this itching comes back time to time if curing stops even for a short period. One can never know if it is completely cured or not. Thus, therapists suggest keeping the curing on until they are completely satisfied. Such itching can cause tingling and sensation of mild burning. This does not only harm your skin, but also mentally. It will cause you a lot of headache and pruritus. It will increase intracranial blood flow and throw a lot of pain to you. To avoid all these symptoms and major effects, medical practitioners suggest that one should maintain level of niacin at 2000 mg per day doses. Such doses may consume in time release format. It is important because it will help to combat arterial development of plaque. However, it only works in cases that have lipids quantity of a noticeable high level. Vitamin B9 Recommended level for vitamin B9 in the form of folic acid is 1 mg per day. If daily doses get higher than this, it is considered an intense level of vitamin B9 or folic acid. Such level ends up masking various B12 deficiencies as described in previous chapters. Such deficiencies can cause neurological damage. Despite of being a curable damage, in some cases, it was found that this damage remained permanent, often referred as permanent neurological damage. This makes it worst side effects compared to other B vitamins. Vitamin B3 has more side effects than other B vitamins. However, one can never face that many effects altogether. That makes side effects caused by vitamin B9 even dangerous than those caused by vitamin B3. Vitamin B12 there is no suggested amount of vitamin B12 to be consumed daily. It varies from one human to another according to their capacity of body to absorb the vitamin B12 in the form of cyanocobalamin. If a human body consumes more vitamin B12 compared to its unique capability or capacity, it can suffer from skin lesions and spinal lesions as well. 
it will eventually lead to major skin problems. These problems will begin as normal acne and light itching. Later, they will eventually turn into rashes and intense itching. Problem will be even worse if these problems are on face. Skin of our face is more sensitive than other parts of our body. It will make it harder to cure the skin problems located near face and neck areas. It is noticeable that causalities caused by these problems are yet to be conclusively established. Every coin has two sides. The vitamins have their own cons alongside with their advantages or pros. Until now, you are introduced with their advantages, deficiencies and various side effects caused due to their overdose. You might have noticed that some vitamins are ignored in this list or this particular chapter describing side effects of various B vitamins. B vitamins that are not included in this chapter are vitamin B5, vitamin B6 and vitamin B7. These are not included since they do not cause any major side effects or these effects are yet to be studied and not known. In upcoming chapter, you will be introduced to various sources that serve as major sources of B vitamins. After getting introduced with all the details about various B vitamins and knowing that how important they can be for us, one definitely needs to know from where these vitamins can be acquired. This is the only reason these sources are described in their own separate chapter. Sources of various B vitamins Completely unprocessed foods are considered main resource for almost every kind of B vitamins. Carbohydrates such as sugar and white flour are best examples of foods to demonstrate this statement. For instance, processed sugar and white food have lower level of B vitamins when compared to their unprocessed counterparts. It is noticed that unprocessed counterparts of these carbohydrates have more quantity of B vitamins compared to their processed form. To resolve this issue in many countries, including USA, UK, China, etc., many vitamin B supplements like thiamine, riboflavin, niacin and folic acid are added to processed white flour to maintain the level of B vitamins. It is done the same with sugar and other known carbohydrates that are majorly used as or in daily food items. When these elements are added to processed white flour, such flour is labelled as enriched flour on food labels. This label helps consumer know of the maintained vitamin level in the product they are about to buy. Some countries also made laws to make such process compulsory so that the consumers get healthy food that has sufficient level of B vitamins and other vitamins too, without wasting any. B vitamins are found in certain type of meats. Such meat includes turkey, tuna and liver. Following is a list of major sources of B vitamins. Pulses and beans, whole grains, potatoes, bananas, chili peppers, tempeh, nutritional yeast, Brewer's yeast, molasses. Since yeast is used to preserve and process beer, beer can also be considered an average resource for B vitamins. B vitamins are there in beer at higher or lower level. However, their bioavailability in beer can vary between poor to good. It is because various B vitamins including vitamin B1, vitamin B3, vitamin B2, vitamin B9 and vitamin B7 can inhibit absorption if ethanol is observed. Moreover, studies also show that beer or any other kind of alcoholic beverages, if overconsumed, they will result in net deficit of all those B vitamins described above. Not only this, overconsuming those alcoholic beverages also increases health risks and deficiencies related with lack of those B vitamins. When you are talking about various resources of B vitamins, Vitamin B12 is greatly noticeable. A great characteristic of this vitamin B12 is that it is rarely or not found in plant products. This makes vitamin B12 a great concern for vegan or vegetarians. However, to resolve this problem and save vegetarians from suffering deficiencies caused by vitamin B12, many planted food distributors and manufacturers report B12 externally added in their product. Such declaration also causes confusion about legit or say root sources of vitamin B12. That makes it hard to figure out what resources actually yield vitamin B12. US Pharmacopoeia USP, method of measuring vitamin B12 content in some element is another reason for raising such confusion about root resources of vitamin B12. 
since this U.S. pharmacopoeia method does not measure the B12 vitamin directly. Instead of measuring the content of vitamin B12 directly, it measures the response of a bacterium to the food. This technique is considered valid because the chemical variants of vitamin B12 present in plant sources are active bacteria. However, these bacteria cannot be used by human body in their original form. It means that planted products do have content of vitamin B12 present in the form of active bacteria. However, they are not considered as a source for vitamin B12 because the content of vitamin B12 is of no use to human body in the form of active bacteria. Its presence does not matter at all. This phenomenon is not limited for planted foods only. It also causes overreporting of vitamin B12 in other kind of foods too. These foods mainly include food items that holds content of vitamin B12 in the form of active bacteria. Dietary supplements are another popular resource for increasing intake of someone's vitamin B level. Almost every energy drink has elements of vitamin B alongside with multiple main ingredients. These energy drinks are often marketed saying that they possess high amount of B vitamins. These vitamin B drinks also claim that consuming these drinks will help consumers to get through a rough working day without feeling restless or tense. They also claim that these drinks increase our calmness. These drinks are highly criticized by many nutritionists. They pointed out that the minimum required amount of B vitamins can be easily acquired through daily diet. Thus, they believe that there is no requirement of wasting valuable money and time over these drinks. However, they also said that there are no side effects of these drinks unless you want to waste money on a thing that gives you no advantage over those who don't buy it. They would just help you to gain slightly more energy from what food you eat. As described many times before, B vitamins are soluble in water. Vitamins that are ingested using supplements are known as excess vitamins. Excess B vitamins are excreted readily in most cases. Their individual absorption and use in metabolism may vary on a large scale. The elder people and athletes may suffer from less absorption and increased needs of energy production. In such case, they require supplements for intake of B12 and other B vitamins. When someone is suffering for deficiency that were caused due to lack of various B vitamins, the deficiencies can be reversed by giving quick dose of that very same B vitamin through injection. Diabetics are also given this kind of dose. Let them be type 1 diabetics or type 2 diabetics. Women that are planning a baby are often suggested to increase folic acid intake as supplement in their daily diet. In this chapter, you learned about various sources that are used to gain various B vitamins. In upcoming chapter, you will learn about various compounds that once were one of the various B vitamins. However, later on, it was discovered that these compounds do not satisfy all the requirements that a vitamin needs to. Thus, they are no longer considered as a part of B vitamin family. Related compounds to B vitamins in this chapter, we are going to learn about various compounds of B vitamins. These were one of the various B vitamins. However, they are no longer part of set of B vitamins. There are only 8 B vitamins present. Almost every related compound is listed in this chapter. In this list, you will notice that many compounds are denoted as vitamins since they were once believed to be vitamins. Since they are no longer considered as vitamins, they are the reason for gaps in the series of B vitamins. For example, vitamin B5 comes after vitamin B3. There is no vitamin B4. Some of these compounds are no use of human bodies. However, they are essential for diets that other organisms or say species consume. Some of them are considered to have no nutrition at all, and some even act as toxic in certain conditions. Now let us introduce you to these compounds. Vitamin B4 Vitamin B4 can be found in the forms of choline, adenine or carnitine. Choline can be synthesized by human body. However, despite being essential nutrients, they are not useful in maintaining food health of human body. Adenine is a nucleobase that is also synthesized by human body still know of use like choline. Carnitine is discovered to be essential for certain kind of worms. However, there are no use of human. 
Vitamin B8. This vitamin B8 can be found in the form of adenosine monophosphate, AMP. Adenosine monophosphate that is denoted as AMP, in short form, is sometimes also referred as adenylic acid. In some rare cases, vitamin B8 can be also found in the form of inositol. Vitamin B10. In chemical terms, vitamin B10 is referred as para-aminobenzoic acid, PABA. It is a chemical component of molecule of folate. Molecule of folate is produced by certain plants and bacteria. This acidic vitamin B10 can be found in more than one type of food. Some of the most famous example of vitamin B10 is UV blocking sunscreen applied to the skin to avoid substains. Vitamin B10 sometimes is applied orally in specific medical conditions. Vitamin B11 Vitamin B11 is often found in the form of pterylheptaglutamic acid. It is known as chick growth factor in chemical terms and denoted as PHGA in short forms. This is the only compound that has a similar or say identical compound. It is known as vitamin BC or vitamin B conjugate. Both vitamin B11 and vitamin BC possess almost the same chemical behavior and characteristics despite of some differences. Vitamin B13 Vitamin B13 can be found in the form of orotic acid. It has been denied as a vitamin B member at the very beginning of the research related to B vitamins. Thus, there is no noticeable information available related to this compound since it is considered as an acid only, that too from the beginning. Vitamin B14 Vitamin B14 can be found in following forms. Cell proliferant, anti-anemia, rat growth factor, anti-tumor pterin. These all were researched and named by L. R. Norris. These compounds are isolated from human urine at the rate of 0.33 ppm. Later, it was discovered that they are even isolated from human blood. However, they were later denied to be a vitamin since no further evidences were found to prove it as a complete member of B vitamins family. Vitamin B15 Vitamin B15 is also known as pangamic acid and pangamate. It was considered as dietary supplement and medical drug. Later on, it was found to be unsafe and rejected to be a vitamin by US Food and Drug Administration and by many other countries too. Vitamin B16 Vitamin B16 was known as diamethylglycin that is denoted as DMG. DMG is synthesized by any average human body with the use of or by choline. Vitamin B17 This is the only poisonous compound. It is known as amygdalin. In some terms, it is also referred as nitrilocytes. This element can be found in several kinds of plants. One of the major sources of this element is apricot pits. It is also majorly extracted from fruit kernels. These elements can be hydrolyzed by many intense enzyme forms. Lower doses of these elements can be served as medical drug but high doses, even a little bit, can be proven poisonous for human body. That is why it is no longer considered as a medical drug or even a vitamin. Since it was used as medical drug for a short period of time, many nutritionists claim that it can still be used in cancer treatment and even for keeping cancer away. These claims are yet to be proved since it is hard to find practical proof for them.